Oil is poured into a cone of diameter 30 inches and depth 40 inches. Find the volume of the oil as a function of its depth. Let's draw a picture. So the diameter is 30 inches. That's this distance across. And the depth is 40 inches. And it's going to be partway filled up with oil. So let's call this our radius. And this we'll call our height or actually depth. So the volume of a pyramid is one-third the base area times the height. This is upside down. Our base area is going to be pi r squared. Our height is h and we take one-third of that. Now we want the volume as a function of its depth, which is h, but this is a function of the radius and the depth. So we want to find a formula that relates the radius to the height. One way to do this is similar triangles. So if we take our little cone, take a cross section, we have a right triangle. There's R, here's H, and then let's take the entire cone. Oops. Okay. This height is 40, and this this leg would be halfway across the 30, or just 15. Okay. So similar triangles says that if we have triangles with the same angles, then the ratios of their sides are equal. So r over h equals 15 over 40. Let's solve for r. So we're going to have 15 over 40 times h. But 15 over 40, 5 goes into both of those, so we can reduce this to 3 eighths. Now we can put that R into our formula for the volume. We have 1 third pi times 3 eighths h squared times h, which is 1 third pi 3 eighths times 3 eighths times h squared times h. Okay, the threes cancel. So we're left with the constant term of 3 pi over 64. And h squared times h is h cubed. Our units on this, this is a volume. And we're in inches, so this will be inches cubed.